First things first, did you notice something about the channel? If you look down, yeah, hey, look down there, you'll see that my name is no longer El Goomtoff. It's actually just Gumi, and now everybody calls me Gumi, right? But I've been known as El Goomtoff for as long as I can remember now since I started uploading videos on this channel, and I figured before Modern Warfare 2 and before Warzone 2 came, it was time to do a slight rebranding where I just changed my name to something that's a little bit easier to recognize, to read, and to say, because I know El Goomtoff is, well, there's a hundred different ways to pronounce it. Everybody always gets it wrong. So this will hopefully help the channel grow a little bit since it's going to be a little bit more recognizable, but I'll still be El Goomtoff in spirit, so don't worry about that. But in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over every single shotgun in the game, and we're going to be going over every single weapon type, or I'm sorry, ammo type. You have the slug rounds, you have dragon's breath, and then the jack 12 has the frag rounds. We're going to go through every single shotgun use each gun individually for just a little bit and then switch ammo types and then move to the next shotgun. This is gonna get us prepared for Modern Warfare 2's beta, so I thought it'd be fun. So without further ado, let's just get into the video and have some fun with these guns. All right, I am using the shorty and just the buckshot version, which is actually one of my favorite ways to run this gun because you're really fast, you don't have much range but I just love the mobility this thing has to offer. It's a ton of fun. Oh God. And I don't know, I just have a blast with it. Even with slugs, it's a little harder with slugs though because you have the inaccuracies of the barrel and the widespread and all that. But you know, it's still good. I love it. This is easily one of my favorite shotguns ever. I'm just gonna challenge him because it's funny. All right, I think I've gotten a few kills with this, uh, like five. So let's switch to slugs. So let's go and get some slug kills. This is a little bit harder. Actually, it's a lot harder. But you have to you have to aim high because it, in order to get that one shot kill, it has to be, I think, chest level, right? Which there's also a lot of drop on slugs. So you have to aim higher. Okay, so that was almost bad. It's very unforgiving, as you can probably tell. But if you're good, there's some good... Hold on. If you're good, you can make this thing work pretty well. Oh yeah, and uh, try not to hit their arms, because that will also get you killed. All right, well, I think we got a couple kills with slugs, and now we need Dragon's Breath. Okay, so now we're on to Dragon's Breath, which my favorite thing about Dragon's Breath on these shotguns is that you can send people flying back. Yeah, there was a 725. I'm not a huge fan of this map. I tend not to play just because it can get a little too chaotic, and I'm not really a big fan of that. Wow, surprised that didn't kill him initially. Wait. It's pretty difficult with this particular barrel because you can see like, there's not a lot of like initial kills. You just kind of hit someone and then they kind of burn afterwards. And it's just, it, it's just so bad on this particular barrel. Oh. Yeah, so you can see there's a lot of like delayed kills, right? Which is, it's kind of a problem, right? So, all right, well, we got a few kills with that thing. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the butthole class. This is the 725. Everybody loves this shotgun, right? Everybody loves it. Not really. It's actually pretty obnoxious. In fact, I, I hate this thing. I absolutely hate this thing. It's it's one of those shotguns that just... I, it's just so hard to deal with. Like, oh god. In multiplayer, it is just so obnoxiously strong. There a guy over here. Oh god! I'm so sorry I killed him right out of spawn. I feel like such a dick when I do that. No, sir. But see, it's just like the most consistent, right? It's so consistent. Two shots, bam, bam, and the hip fire is just ridiculously forgiving. So, all right, we'll get another couple kill or two. And then we'll move on to the next shotgun. Which is, I think, the R90. Eh! Oh, he switched to a 725. It has the brekkie effect where everybody decides to use like, uh oh. 
everybody decides to use it just because they hear it going off and they keep dying to it. But all right, we got enough kills with it. Let's switch guns. Let's use the R90. Okay, next up is the R90. This is the base R90. I don't remember this being that spectacular. It was at launch, but if you remember, it was actually kind of nutty at launch because it could actually one tap to ridiculous distances. And it ended up getting like the stealth nerf. Oh, I don't know why. I saw that through the wall, but I still decided to go in after it. Uh, so it was like getting nine meter one shot kills and it was just, it was probably the best shotgun overall just cause it, two quick shots, you know what I mean? That, that kind of range for a one shot is, is nothing to be messing around with. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a bad shotgun. You really have to be aiming down sights. I'm missing all my shots. I'm just gonna die. That, that's fine. That's fine. All right, I think I've gotten enough kills with this gun. Okay, so I forgot to use the 725 with slugs, just like I said I would do, so uh, I don't wanna play this map. I really don't, but I'm gonna kind of suffer through it for a couple kills just to get the snipes, I guess. I don't know or attempt to. So the slugs on this gun are easily the best in terms of all the shotguns because, oh God, um, because even though you only have two shots, it has the best like damage profile. You can still one shot, I think out to like stomach shots, out to basically any distance. It's actually really strong and it's a lot of fun, but it kind of balances out because you only have those two shots and then it's pretty much done, right? That being said, this is kind of the notorious sniper shotgun of the game. There we go. There's at least one good snipe. It wasn't that far, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Okay, next up is the R90 with Dragon's Breath. This is probably the next most toxic quote-unquote shotgun of the game. Yeah, usually it's the 725 people pull out, right? Well, this is the next best thing because... Even though you don't have as much of a two-shot potential with Dragon's Breath, you get a much better one-shot potential, and it's it's flames. I mean, that in itself just triggers people to just this crazy, insane degree for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Uh, someone's going to pull this thing out. I just I have a feeling that it's just going to happen. They're going to get triggered, and it's going to just get out of control. Oh god. See, it's it's definitely a lot more consistent up close, but you just don't have as much range. That's kind of the trade-off with this thing. Yeah, it's fun, but it's also one of those shotguns that just triggers people to no end. So I'm gonna switch guns in just a second. Maybe get one more kill. Okay, now I'm good. I will switch to slugs on this bad boy. Slugs are definitely the hardest thing to use in this game one of right and on this thing it's no exception and it's got i don't know it's just kind of a quirky gun to aim down sights with oh shit someone in here oh someone is in here i can just oh he is flying all over the place what the hell he kind of missed a shot so i was on him i'll probably just get one more kill and call it a day with this thing Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. But hey, it's fun when it works. So, all right, what's next? That's enough of that. Now it's the Origin 12. This gun is actually, I think it's kind of overlooked. It's its easily, it's, it's pretty much not the best shotgun, right? It's just overlooked because it's not one of those heavy hitters. It's not the 725. It doesn't have Dragon's Breath. So it's oftentimes a little overlooked. Oops. Oh, man. I totally thought that would have killed him. I stopped shooting because of it. He knows I'm over here, so... Not gonna push that way. Oh, boy. Can I just sneak in here? That'd be great. 
Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. Well, I've gotten enough kills with it. It's time to switch to slugs, so... Okay, there we go. Uh, the slug rounds on the jack. Great in Warzone, and great in here too. But again, just like the other ones, you really need to aim pretty... Someone behind me? Pretty well with this thing. Oh, snap. Oh, man. I didn't expect there to be three guys there. And I always use aim... I always use, uh, what do you call it? Iron sights. I don't know why, I just have an affinity towards them as opposed to using sights on my shotguns. How am I struggling to get up here with this thing? Whoa! Oh man, I missed all those shots. That was not good. Oh, okay, well, I think that's probably a good time to switch, so. Next up is the VLK Rogue, and this thing, this thing is not as good in Modern Warfare as it is in Warzone. It's still great, like, it's just that everything else also kills really fast, so it's like, whatever, doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Oh, whoa. Kind of zoned out there for a second. Yeah, so it's got a good rate of fire, that's the nice thing about it, but it doesn't have nearly as much range. Dragon's Breath is the way to go on this thing, but we, we'll get to that in a second, right? That's that's next. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, I am satisfied. Okay, against my better judgment, we're playing Piccadilly again. It's the only map that would come up. For some reason, I'm having a hard time finding matches. Yeah, I'm gonna play Piccadilly with the VLK Rogue. That's that's smart. Great two shot. Oh God, I'm running into stuff. Great two shot range, great one shot range. It's it's a nice shotgun, it really is. See a guy in that corner. Oh, he saw me, he saw me. Oh God, I'm so screwed. Also, my cat is screwing with stuff. My cat is being crazy. Hey, stop it, stop it. Give that back. I have a feeling that guy, yes, I knew it. I knew it! I had a feeling he was going to come back in there. Let's just bum rush him. What was that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> God, this game, man. I swear. I'll let this guy distract him. Oh my God, he just went in again! Yeah! <laughs> All right, that's enough of this one. We will leave the game and choose a different shotgun. Now we are using slugs on the VLK Rogue, which, again, really hard to deal with. But it's basically got like the damage profile of the 680. Just not as much range. I think it's because the fire rate is what makes up for that. This is one of those that's more difficult than others, I think, to aim with the iron sights. It's just kind of awkward. But you can get some decent stomach shots from a decent range. You can get some one-shot headshots, one-shot chest shots. It's it's pretty good. Damage-wise, at least. Oh no, I just ran into the grenade. That's all right. That was a good time to change anyway. Now we will use the dreaded Jack 12. I'm only using eight rounds though. I just kind of wanted to try something different and just go with that with like a little bit more mobility and aim down sight speed and stuff. So hopefully it works out. If you're looking for the best like builds and stuff, that is not what this video is about. That is definitely not what this video is about. There's way better ways to kit these things out. I'm just trying to have fun with it. You know, revisit some of these guns and, you know, just chill. Oops. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, I'm running into walls. 
Oops. Well, I think you guys get the drift. So we're on slugs for the Jack-12. Amazing in Warzone. Absolutely amazing. But in regular multiplayer, it's just kind of weird. Really don't care for it that much. Like, it's just... Wow, okay. It's just... I don't know. There's something off about it to me. I don't really like it that much. This gun's a little bit of a struggle bus. Not gonna lie. It's a little bit of a struggle bus. Sniper and guard. I got one of them at least. I mean, this is... Actually, this is... I feel like this is more difficult than a lot of the other shotguns I was using. Even though it's full auto, it's just so weak. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Wow, I cannot believe I killed that guy. That's enough of that one. Let's switch to... Oh, I forgot I was using the short barrel for this thing. Maybe that's why I'm doing so bad. Uh, let's do Dragon's Breath. The guy on their team is using the R90, so I don't really feel that bad. That was a lot of hit markers, wasn't it? Oh my god. He didn't die? Oh, he did. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of hit markers with this thing. You can one shot with it. I don't really know how to describe it other than it's just kind of annoying to use. Oh my god, I got him. <laughs> he was in an inferno of fire. Couple more kills with it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep. So we've made it to the last one, and that is the <laughs> Frag 12 rounds. Oh man. The ultimate meme shock and build. What kind of fun stuff can you do with this? Don't make me do it. Wow, all I could see was it's like shoulder. But they have explosive damage, so it's a lot of fun to just spray and pray with, you know, <laughs> how loud it is. It's just kind of goofy. Oh my god, it's so silly. This is such a silly gun. Oh, I'm dead. I got stuck. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I actually got that guy. <laughs> you can just like feel the panic all the way from over there. Sorry, Mr. MP5, dude. <laughs> oh man, this thing is pretty fun, not gonna lie. Oh man, I really don't care that we lost. That was just so much fun. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, I saw him. I saw that. He was going to switch to his knife and pick up my gun. I bet he was going to do that. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane just to get a glimpse of those old shotguns from Modern Warfare 2019. Hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I know it's a longer video, but we're getting ready for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. If you're ready for Modern Warfare 2 beta footage from all the shotguns and maybe some pistols, then make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in Modern Warfare 2.